So number eight then from paper two of the 2016 National Five Maths. Here we go, scaling triangle question. It's meant to be a ladder, but what does that matter? Where's my triangle? Here it is. Calculate x, the size of the angle between the shorter leg and the ground. Calculate x, this one here. First thing you should notice is opposite pairs. It's the sine rule. You can put down the sine rule if you like. A over sine A, B over sine B, C over sine C. I'll just put it in inverted commas. Just indicate that's what I'm going to use because you don't actually need any names at the corners, at the vertices, because it's just the configuration of the sides that matter. The sine rule works with opposite sides. The side and its opposite angle, the sine of its opposite angle. So I know that 150 over sine that will be the same as 140 over sine that. The other thing is, you can use that either way round. So I'm going to employ the sine rule upside down and start off with sine x. Sine x over its partner, 150, will be sine 66 over its partner, 140. Makes the rearrangement easier. So sine x will be 150 sine 66 over 140. Now let's press the buttons. And you get 0 0.9787 and so on. And of course, that's just 140 there, which means that x itself, notice I'm keeping all these b degree signs in, is inverse sine of that 9787 and so on, just using the answer, that's why I'm not rounding it off. So if I just do, you get 78.180 and so on. So I'll finish off by saying that angle is 78.2 degrees. And the only reason I kept it in was, notice it said calculate x with a little degree sign on it which is a bit of a pest keeping the keys. You probably didn't bother after here. But strictly speaking, according to this, if it's x degrees, then x is just a number. So the x would just be the 78.2. So that's why they've said x degrees. So you can put a wee degree sign in as well. Don't know why I said that. I've never been to Aberdeen.